okay let us do the following conversion so we have been given this compound so 9.38 so we have been given this compound and there is a double bond and then you have this and you have to prepare this compound so you basically have this conversion so here you have a 5 member ring and then there is a CH2, CH2, CH3 that is upside and hydrogen is the bottom side and this hydrogen is the upside and OH is the bottom side so what are the reagent that will use to prepare this compound give me the reagent it's an easy one so if you see uh, you have to add H and OH and addition is seen because this case H is also downside this OH is also downside now CH2 CH2 CH3 so this group is already there CH2 CH2 CH3 so I need simply a uh, sin addition of HOH so I need sin addition of H and OH so what reagent you will use can anybody remember okay so in this case BH3H2O2OH minus if you use if you remember the first step is BH3 hydroboration and the second step is oxidation as 2O2OH minus in this case this is a synhydration now let us discuss B part so what this B part says again conversion so you have PH CH2 CH2 Cl from this compound you have to prepare PH CH2 CH2 OH so one more carbon CH2 CH2 OH so let us say uh, you have to inject one more carbon so let us say CH2 whole twice that is PH CH2 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 OH so this means I have increased one carbon here you have only two carbon here I have three carbon so there is an increase in one carbon increase of one carbon how will you do this one so you have to increase one carbon you can use a uh, Grignard reagent synthesis and then you can do for one carbon you know what is the reagent that is used formaldehyde so now you know everyone so let us do this one let us take 30 seconds so you first prepare the Grignard reagent ok so let us see what you will do in this case so first make the Grignard reagent PH CH2 CH2 Cl you treat with this compound with magnesium now we have Grignard reagent PH CH2 CH2 MgCl now if this Grignard reagent PH CH2 CH2 MgCl if this is treated with formaldehyde HCHO so now what you, you know basically what will happen and if you do hydrolysis as 3 or plus you will get the desired alcohol pH CH2 CH2 and one carbon is increased due to this carbon CH2 OH so this is the final product you will get are you getting or not copy this one fast now let us see so what this says you have this compound there is a double bond O and double bond here you have now you have to prepare this compound here you have OH and here I have double bond so this means I want to reduce the double bond O but does not want to reduce the double bond uh, carbon carbon double bond I want to reduce carbon CO bond but does not I want to reduce CC bond this is a CC bond so I should to use a reagent that can reduce only CO bond and what is the reagent 
either you can use LiLH4 or you can use NaBH4 both reagent will be useful because in that case H- will come and H- can attack only on this carbon minus cannot attack on alkene alkene electrophilic attack happens so either you can take LiLH4 LiLH4 you can take or you can take NaBH4 both is possible are you getting on it so you can take either because in the both cases you are getting H- that will act as a nucleophile of course in the second step you have to do hydrolysis also because you will have minus and if you put H2O and then hydrolysis is done so you can do or you can faster step is this either this or this either LiLH4 or NaBH4 in the second step simply you put into the water so if you put into the water oil coal as a solvent hydrolysis is over or if you want you can put H3O plus but H3O plus is not necessary even if you put water this minus will take H plus if you are doing hydrolysis basically you are giving H plus that is a fine that is the best option either you can use water as a solvent or even you can use alcohol as a solvent so in this case H2O or alcohol both can be used as a solvent because this can O minus that is formed in this case will take H plus are you getting or not so you will have this double bond H minus will attack here this opens up so if H minus attacks here opens up so you will have <coughs> sorry <coughs> O minus now this O minus will take H plus either from H2O or from CH3OH and it will be fine if you use H3O plus so you can use anything so this reagent can be used to reduction of only a ketone it cannot reduce the double bond if you want to reduce double bond as well as ketone both you have to take uh, H2PD are you getting or not? Let us copy this one first and then we will go for the next problem. So if you have copied this one, uh, let us do first. Okay, let us discuss the next one. If you have copied this one, I think all of you have copied. Okay, so next problem we have. So I have to take the next phase. Okay, so you have part B. In this case, we have to reduce the same question. We have this compound, double bond O, and here you have double bond. Now I want to reduce only double bond. This means the final product I want this. No, no, no double bond here. Are you getting? So let me write again so that you don't have any confusion. So you have this. So let us copy this one. I want to prepare from this to this. How will you do this one? This means in this case I want to reduce only double bond. I don't want to reduce the a ketonic group. So this can be done if I take two equivalent of hydrogen this will be reduced as well as this will be reduced both but if I take one equivalent of hydrogen this will be reduced this will not be reduced because reduction of alkene with, res with, with the hydrogen is faster than the reduction with respect to ketone so if I take one equivalent of so if I take one equivalent of hydrogen or you can say if I take one mole of hydrogen if I take one mole of hydrogen, this double bond will be reduced, but ketone will not be reduced. Are you getting? So, in case of one, in case of one equivalent of hydrogen, one double bond will be reduced. If I take two equivalent, of course, in that case both will be reduced. Like in this case, if I try to use this reagent, two equivalent of hydrogen, that is two mole of hydrogen. If I use, in that case both will be reduced. This, bail, uh, this double bond as well as ketonic double bond both will be reduced. So final product you will get this. This means now I can say double bond has more reactivity CC double bond 
has more reactivity with respect to CO double bond and this is with respect to hydrogen H2PD. So reactivity of CC double bond is more than reactivity of C double bond O with respect to H2PD. Are you getting or not? Uh, let us go for the next part E. So we have E. So what this says, uh, I have to prepare this compound CH3 C double bond O CH2 CH2 and then I have COOET so when I am writing OET you have to understand uh, this means there must be some something related to leaving group if possible uh, this goes and I have to prepare CS3 COH H CH2 CH2 and then COOET so let us copy this one and then you can understand what you want to do in this case you see if I want to reduce this double bond O ketonic double bond but I does not want to do anything with ester group COOET you see this bond this compound this is as it is. If you see here, it is as it is. So I am not doing anything to this ester group. So ester groups remains untouched. I have to touch only ketonic group. So I want to reduce this C double bond O, but I don't want to reduce C double O ester. So ester I don't want to reduce, but ketone I want to reduce. So this means I want to reduce ketones, but I don't want to reduce ester. I don't want to reduce ester. What can I do? If you remember, we have already said in the class, if I take NaBH4, only ketonic group will be reduced. If I take LiLH4, both will be reduced. Ester as well as ketone. So in this case, both. In this case, only ketone. Are you getting? So now in this case if you see what reagent I should take, I want to reduce only ketonic group. So this means I should to take NaBH4 as a reagent. So in this case what should be the reagent? NaBH4. Are you getting? So let us copy this one fast. So in this case reagent should be NaBH4 so if you want you can write here NaBH4 so let me write uh, NaBH4 because I want to reduce only a ketonic group. Now let us discuss F. I have this compound, a same compound this time I want to reduce both. So let us say CH3, CO, CH2, COO and then ET from this I want to prepare this CH3COH H CH2 COH H H now you know the reason give me the answer everybody knows what are the changes that has taken place you see this ketonic group has been reduced this has been alcohol so this has been reduced now this ester group so this ester group if you see this has been also reduced alcohol so ketone as well as ester both has been reduced so what, what should be the reason lithium aluminum hydride because lithium aluminum hydride is a, a strong reducing agent so I have to take LiAlH4 in this case are you getting or not ok so let us copy this one then we will discuss the next problem
Okay, let us go for the next problem.